What is up guys? We are back at it, back in the shop. And today we're gonna to get our little drift cart here finished up. A lot of work to do, so let's get busy. Okay, so it's pretty much the same as when we left off on the last video. Uh, I haven't done a whole lot to it other than I did rework the front bumper. Uh, I just didn't like how it looked. So I made a new one and I think it looks a lot better. But other than that, it's pretty much exactly where we left off on it. And today we're gonna start by building a wing of some kind for the back there. Uh, just looking at it, I think it needs something to kind of finish off the back. So that's where we're gonna get started. And after that, we're gonna get this thing completely blown apart and uh, repaint the frame, paint the body, and just do a bunch of finishing touches on it. So let's get started. All right, so here's what I came up with so far. Wasn't sure what I wanted, so I just had to wing it. Spoiler alert, I like puns. No, but seriously, uh, I just took some 3 8 round stock, put it in the vise, bent it by hand, and uh, just using four bolt holes that we already had uh, to mount the body, to mount the wing with. So there's the framework, and I dug out this piece of quarter inch aluminum, marked out, what we're going to use for the wing so i'll get that cut out and uh we'll just drill some holes bolt them together make some cool end caps for them and uh that'll be the wing so let's do it Check it out guys, we got ourselves a wing and I think it's pretty dang cool. And my gut instinct is telling me we just made this thing at least twice as fast. Kinda like when you're a little kid and you get a new pair of shoes. So before we tear it into a million pieces and uh, get everything painted, we're gonna give it uh, one last rip around the shop. This thing is so much fun, you guys, but let's get it torn down completely. We're going to paint the frame, paint the body, and uh, get it finished up. And the vision I have in my head for it, I think is super cool. I'm excited for you guys to see it, so let's get to work.
All right, guys, so we got it all tore apart. And over here, we got the frame and everything that's getting painted black, cleaned up, ready. So we're gonna go ahead and hit that. While it's drying, uh, we'll go ahead and get this body ready for paint. Okay, so we got the frame all painted. Give you guys a quick look at it. And you notice, I really went heavy on the brake rotor there. Uh, I really wanted to piss off people on the internet, so definitely went real heavy on it. But just in case, that's I uh, give it a little more. Oh yeah, that looks good there. I like that. Oh, that's gold. All right, so on to the body. Okay, so I got all these body pieces cleaned up, uh, at least good enough for who they are. And I just want to point out how I've been uh, blowing all the rust and the dust over to the uh, freshly painted parts. If you're not doing that, you're probably doing it wrong. You're going to have to start over. But yeah, we'll get some paint on these parts and call it a night. All right, guys, so that's about as far as we can go tonight. We've got everything painted, so we'll let it dry, and we'll throw this thing together tomorrow. But I'm sure a lot of you are starting to see the direction this is going. If not, uh, I guess you'll figure it out tomorrow. All right, guys, so as you just seen, we are building this into a uh, cop-themed drift cart, but I had to hit you with a surprise. Couldn't just let you watch me build it slowly and give it away, but now you can watch me throw it back together and uh, everything I did to it. And I'm sure some of you caught on uh, the other day whenever I showed this door, and I'm sure some of you guys, uh, maybe you've been following me for a long time, way before YouTube and social media, there's a thing called forms and I built this truck mostly on S10 form. Uh, it's one of the first things I ever built that got me a lot of attention. Everybody called it the FTP truck or the cop truck uh, as it body dropped first gen S10. And uh, like I said, it, it's pretty popular back then. Uh, a lot of show coverage and is in readers rides and it's on the cover of uh, styling trucks. But this was, I don't even know, 15, 20 years ago. It's been a long time. But I just thought it'd be fun to kind of build this in the same theme. And who knows, maybe one day I'll rebuild the cop truck, build another one. But for now, uh, go ahead and watch me throw this thing together.
So how cool is this thing, you guys? Maybe I'm biased, but I honestly think it is the coolest drift cart being built on YouTube. Even if we only get a tenth of the views of some of these other guys, uh, at least we know it's the coolest. And it is a legit budget build. Initially built it for 300 bucks and uh, then wanted to take it to the next level. So we bumped it up to 500 and uh, I've stuck to that. There is no claiming it's a $300 budget build. And next thing you know, I'm hanging a turbo and nitrous and trying out three sets of wheels and a bunch of expensive parts. Uh, we've stuck to the budget, so that's super cool. And uh, we're about to make it even cooler. So you guys act surprised. We are gonna make it a police cart. So I had Miss Zip Tie cut me out a bunch of stickers and I'm sure a lot of you guys remember her. 90% of you only watch my videos when she's in them. So thanks for that. But also got some grip tape. We'll throw that on the deck, give us a place to lay our feet. Uh, got some reflective tape, we'll make some sirens. Picked up a little bag, uh, kind of a little saddle bag. We can uh, throw our snacks in there, put some uh, gushers in there when we're out having fun. And finally, a good reason to use all the junk I got when I donated to get Super Troopers 2 made. So that's gonna be a cool little add-on for it. So let's get busy. Car Ramrod. All right, guys, so here it is, finished product. And I am super pumped on how this thing turned out. I love it. And it's hard to argue that this is not one of the coolest drift carts being built. And uh, like I mentioned before, it is a true budget build. Uh, we'll take a look over here, see exactly where we're at with this thing. But we paid 100 bucks for the quad, 150 for the wheels and tires, 30 bucks for a chain. We had 50 bucks in hardware, uh, 30 for paint. Uh, the PVC for the rear tires was 80 bucks. And between 
all the vinyl for the stickers, the metal to make the wing, and just some miscellaneous stuff was another 75 bucks. So try my math here. Never said I was the best, but these two are easy. 100 and 150. It's gonna give us 250. And now we get into the hard ones. All right, let's do this. We got 30 and 30, that is 60. That's easy. Then we got this 50 here. So I know 50 plus 50 is 100. And then we'd have 10 left over. So that is going to be 110. Oh, man. All right, 75 and 75 is 150. I know that. But we got an extra five there. So that's going to be 155. All right, we got... 155 and 110 we'll leave that 10 alone and just to add 100 that'll be 255 plus 10 it's gonna be 265 up here we got this 250 so 250 and 250 is 500 but then we got this extra 15 but it's still pretty easy that'll give us five 15 on this build so pretty close to our budget that we wanted and like i said i could not be any more happy with it and just goes to show you guys it doesn't take a lot of money a lot of time you can build super cool stuff on a budget so hopefully it motivates somebody to get out and build something and i uh, not gonna be the last video on this thing, but it will be for a while because it is currently 10 degrees and snowing outside. But as soon as we get some decent weather or I find a spot big enough indoors to uh, ride this thing, we're gonna get up, get some buddies together and uh, go have some fun with this thing. But that's gonna be it for this time. So we'll see you guys next time.